Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and we are remote today. We're on the island, Mackinac Island, for the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce's annual policy conference being held right here at the Grand Grand Hotel. Todd Cuts Gustafson joins us right now. Uh, Todd is the uh, CEO of Connexus, and let's start, Todd, with what Connexus is. Yeah, so Connexus, thanks for having me, by the way. And oh, it's, it's wonderful exciting, to have right? you. Um, I don't want to launch right into it, but uh, Todd Gustafson, again with the Connexus Group. We are a multifaceted nonprofit that does economic workforce and community development. And although we're headquartered in Benton Harbor, we have programs and services across the state. You know, I, you are so unique in what you guys are. How, how did this all start? What was the genesis of it? I think it was like hanging out with people like you, right? Oh, I'm small, sorry. Small business people. You, you, got, you got to find better friends. <laughs> I think we've just been very entrepreneurial, and we've got a great board that believes in uh, addressing the complex issues that face us and recognizing what got us here won't get us there. Do, do something different. And so over time, we evolved into this multifaceted organization. Um, we've been uh, social entrepreneurs. We have a family of organizations, so it's almost like a private sector. We've got a number of, uh, we have youth solutions that does youth across the state, uh, 100 high schools, 7,000 kids. We've got the Manufacturing Growth Alliance. They do small, help small manufacturers, primarily in automation. They've touched around 2,500 manufacturers across Michigan this year. And then you've got Mark Van Buren, they do economic development in Barron and Cass County. And then you've got, we also have Michigan Works under our umbrella, which does Barron and Cass on Barron. And we have a, a charter school that we also run and uh, adult ed programming. And so we're, we're, we're trying to help Michigan be a, the best place it can be to live. Did, did I ask him the meaning of life? Is that where this went? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, oh, this is it. You're cut off. No, this is the thing. It's like you guys do have your fingers in so many different pies, but they're all kind of economic development based. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So uh, we're on the uh, Michigan Works yeah. Association board together, yeah. and I know you work very closely with them. So tell me about what you do specifically with those 7,000 students. Wow. Those, so, so those 7,000 students are in about 100 schools across Michigan that are on the uh, edge of staying in or dropping out of school. So we keep them in school. They get credits, then they help them find jobs in the summer with the objective of graduating and getting a job or, and or a job or going on to school after. And, and we're in a 90% percent percentile no. success rate. Really? Yeah, so it's been awesome. That That is awesome. Rewarding. That really is. Do a lot of those kids move into training? And I'm, I'm yeah. saying that like not the baccalaureate, but they, you know. Yeah, mo most of them will get connected to companies that want to invest in them and give them additional training or certifications. And so, yeah, it's a good, it's a good career pathway for kids that otherwise have been forgotten or left behind. This is a big organization. How are you guys funded? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So if anyone wants to write a check out to it, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's private and public sector funded. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you find grants and you, do you go to MEDC, that type of thing? Yeah, we work with a lot. We work with the state in a number of ways. Um, labor, uh, LEO, uh, Labor and Economic Opportunity, and also MEDC, MISTA. I mean, we're all, we're all over the place. Whatever helps our communities move forward. And as you know from your work, right, with MEDC, they do some really good stuff, especially oh, with do. small businesses. Yeah, they do. And Michigan Works does, too. That, yeah, I'm, I'm yes. amazed at where it, We just did, uh, in the capital area, Michigan Works, we just did a um, uh, 3,500, 2,500 students through to see 54 yeah. different career opportunities. Yeah, yeah uh, the career quest, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie and her team do a great job, oh, as you know. Do. She's on that board, too, right? Yeah. 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 20. 20 some years, actually. Oh, okay. And you're on the Michigan Celebrate Small Business uh, Board as well, as the founder. And I mow lawns on the weekend, <laughs> which is really good. So. Well, we need more people like you, Chris, because it takes a, a group, right? And this is an ecosystem. This is not just about Connexus Group or the Michigan Works Association. Or all. It's all of these groups together. And your next guest, Dan Wyant, who's also on my Connexus Group board, yep. Yep. and his COO is on our Manufacturing Growth Lines board. We just uh, amplify that ecosystem, and if we can partner and collaborate, that's where the real magic happens. No, it's absolutely true. All right, so you're up here. So what do you what do you want to come away with here? Oh my God, uh, relationships and resources. Resources in terms of financial investments and the work that we're doing across the state in any one of the categories I just mentioned. Okay. So we've got Quentin on later. Uh, you might want to stay here and. 
tackle him on his way out. Yeah, I actually talked to him earlier and I just said, hey, you all are, I know you're all getting killed, but you're all doing some really good work and you're investing in some communities and some companies and some projects. Let the ecosystem tell your story because yeah. we see the good work that you're doing. Yeah. Maybe you can mention that too. Well, no, and that's the truth. And the fact is that if there's anything they don't do well, it's brag about themselves. Yeah, exactly. You know? And so this will be having others brag about them that benefit from their work, right? The companies that we serve or the communities we're all in across Michigan, they know that they're getting invested in by the MEDC. Have them tell that story. That's my message to the MEDC is like, you do actually do great work. I know you're getting killed on some things, but there's some good stuff you should highlight. Yeah. All right. So anything unique next or just more of the uh, keep plugging ahead? Yeah, keep growing and impacting our, our state and making it the best place that it can be. Find new friends, which are you looking around and realizing this is the best place to find new oh friends? Oh, my God. This is, this is like the best <laughs> place. And I tell people all the time, if I was only able to go to one conference a year, this would be it. And yeah. people say, hey, you go to that conference and I go, oh, that's easy. The sunny Mackinac Island. I'm like, it is like the Bataan Death March of meetings like all day, every oh, yeah. day. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, shout out to my veterans as I am a veteran. So, yeah. And I know we have Dan, who's another great partner for the Edward Lowe Foundation, who does fantastic work with small entrepreneurs. They're like the best kept secret in the nation. Is he over there doing this? Yeah, he's like, get him off. All right, let's sign off then. Uh, Todd, thanks for coming on. Todd Gustafson with uh, Connexus. Uh, you are watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network, coming to you from the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce's annual policy conference. I'm Chris Holman. We'll be right back.